Enter, stranger. You know, I don't think you should keep saying enter, stranger, if you ask me, Master. I mean, if you ask me, if you keep saying enter, stranger, then you can hardly complain if you get some pretty strange results. I mean, look at Pickle. this. Pickle. Yes, Master? Shut up, Pickle. Yes, Master. And now, stranger, you can get a word in edgeways. Two words, in fact. Come, tell us your name. Alan Davis. All right, Alan. Let's have some more names. Three this time, and call them boldly and loudly, please. Jim, Nick, and Mark. Well, I think you'll agree they look normal enough, Pickle. <sighs> well, perhaps you wouldn't. Oh, do stop sulking and go and get the gear so I can equip Alan. Now then, who's who? Jim Pugh. Nick Atkins. Mark Hubbard. Very well. Now, Alan, take this knapsack for food. Put food in there. And it will keep your spirits up, quite literally. Now the eye shield. Well, you know what it can do. So remember to hold it up across your body like so. Otherwise, we may not see the path you take. And now the main reason why the eye shield is so useful. Once you put this on, your own eyes will no longer see the path ahead. Only objects directly beneath you. There. Time to take the path of peril and puzzlement. Any second thoughts? No. Good. Then let me point you at the way into the first dungeon. Forward. And good luck. Stop. Okay, Alan, you're in a room. Um, you've got a ledge. You're near, you're near a, uh, a cliff edge, so don't walk off, whatever you do. Uh, you've got four... Ah, yes. The choice of paths, all equally dangerous and all equally rewarding. These are the four classic quests. The cup that heals, the sword of freedom, the shield of justice, and the crowning glory. Choose just one and choose your pathway into peril. Which one? <laughs> well, um, where do you want to go, Alan? The cup, the shield, the crown, or the sword? Take the sword if you want. Right, take a sidestep to your left. And again, and again, one more. Take a pace forwards, half a pace forwards, stop. Now, Alan, a, a path has just formed over the cliff edge. Take half a step to your right, keep walking now. Stop, turn 90 degrees to your left. Oh, what's it, what's it? Well, like a pace forwards. Alan, you're in a corridor. Stop. Uh, you've got uh, an exit on your right. Well, a couple of paces on your right. It doesn't look that um, deep, actually, does it? No. Dwarf tunnels, without doubt. Listen, you lot. These tunnels are used by all sorts of creatures apart from dwarves. Some of them aren't exactly vegetarian. I'm sure you do, and he's right. Can forward with it. caution, team, but waste no time. Walk forwards. This one. Stop. Turn to your right 90 degrees. Uh, walk forwards. Slowly, carefully. There's a sort of T-junction in front of you. Turn 90 degrees to your right. Walk forwards. Okay, Alan, you're in a, a, a cabin. You're Stop. Gonna, you're not going to fall off anything. There's a table and a stool in front of you, and at the end there's a, uh, the exit. It looks like the exit to a bal balcony. It looks like you've stumbled into a supply chamber. These things are seldom unguarded. Still, you could be lucky. Alan, take two side steps to your left. Does it help? I can see the table. <laughs> Walk up to the food on the table, then. Yeah, I see it. What's on the table? There's a scroll, uh, a horn, a whip, a bullion, and a, some grapes, and a magnifying glass. Take the food. Take the food. Don't, don't, don't take the whip, because it's a weapon. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, take the gold. The scroll might be useful. Read, read the scroll. Read the scroll. Can you read, read the scroll, it? please?
What's the letters? Can you read it? G B A. No, you can't get it off. A. Well, it's a June scroll. Could prove useful. Right. Keep put the scroll in the knapsack, Alan, or carry it. Carry it. Carry it. Um, should we take the gold? Okay. Alan, should we take the gold? I reckon the magnifying glass is magical. You look for it, you can see it. Use a spyglass, but be ready to put it down when it gets dangerous. Yeah. Hold it in front of the eye shield. Yeah, you Because there could be the enemy on the other side. Yeah. No, no hands. I said a hero, not an ear hole. Watch my mouth, hands. I want you to impersonate a hero and gain their confidence. Oh, sorry, long word. Try trust. Offer to be their friend and companion. And remember to choose a hero they've found to have heard of but couldn't possibly have met. Now clear the pool, please. As it is, I'll probably have to change the water now you've been through it. Ah, who are we here? If it isn't Julius Scaramunger. What can I do for you, good merchant? Well, it's like this, your lordship. I ain't afraid of a bit of competition. <laughs> Far from it. But this Ethan Oriental, well, he's getting right up my, uh, uh, Well, he's encroaching on my established trading territory, so to speak. Uh, while we're on the subject of market forces, if you could be so kind as to bring a little bit of brute force to bear in the marketplace, so to speak, well, uh, I might feel obliged, in return, to release to you, uh, for a price, of course, that uh, special, uh, very, 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 very special uh, shipment of goblin clubs that came in last week. <laughs> what do you say, eh? Hmm. And not an interesting proposal. This commercial opponent of yours, Oriental, a Chinaman, is he? Well, it's hard to tell your lordship, but uh, somewhat like that, eh? Uh... Hmm. It just so happens I've come into possession of a neat little offensive spell that should be most appropriate under the circumstances. It's called Samurai. Very well. We have a deal. Go and get the clubs ready. A useful piece of eavesdropping, I suspect. But only if you've been paying attention. Well, equip yourselves. Take... Remember... You may take only two of these valuable objects. Take the gold. Take the gold, Alan. Yeah, because the they want the money, don't they? Yeah, could be useful yep. to bribe. Right. Yeah, right then. Um, turn to twelve o'clock. <gasps> quick, Alan. Quick, Alan. Alan, twelve o'clock. Walk forward, forward quickly. Forward, run. Quick, quickly. Stop. Right. Turn to twelve o'clock again. Uh, side step to your right. Walk forward. Quick. When the out eye sheet now. Eye I walk shield. now. Now we're going down some Walk stairs. Walk down some stairs. You're going down some stairs. One B. Duck. Don't hit your head again. Okay, you're in a courtyard. There's a green head of stop. You're in, you're in a courtyard. You've got um, buildings um, to your right at the moment, and one behind you. Turn, 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 turn around. Alan, turn round about 45 degrees, 90, to your right. Oh look, it's a fellow Someone's warrior. Entering. Oh, Hans. greetings, greetings. Ah, what's your name then, eh? Alan. Alan. Oh, Alan. Is you, is you an heroic figure then, Alan, is ya? Uh, no, it depends. Ah, uh, depends. <laughs> Alan. Alan, the amazing acrobatic argonaut. I remember you. You're famous. Is that you? Uh, say no. no. Sorry, no. no uh, Alan Amarant. Oh, oh, pleasure to meet you. That's you, isn't it? Alan no. Amarant. No? No. Oh. So you're not an heroic figure? No, no. Oh, no. well, I am. I am. Coonan. Yeah, Coonan. I'm saying this is hands. Ah, yeah. Now, what is this? Me pasty resistance thing, yeah. they call it. Ah, one, two, three, four, one, two, Alan, three, four, beware. Five. He's got a sword, ah, Alan. Oh, that's good. He's impersonating yeah. a hero who's actually a baddie, we think. Oh, he was he was hands when he was talking to the, um, mm. one to the spyglass. Here. Yeah. Ah, it's a bit too bird of me. Coonan, yeah. Do you know why they call me that? They call me it because they call me Coonan the Vegetarian. Yeah, that's because I like carrots. Mm. They make you ever so brave, you know, and they're good for your teeth, too. Here, Alan, mm. would you like a bit of my carrot? Do you reckon? Uh, no. no. No, thank you very much. Ah, oh, there's a nice beetle there. You could have eaten that. Oh, well, look, I'll how be. about we, right, you and me, meeting up later at the inn in the square it's, it's right over there and we'll get drunk i mean no. have a few hours together what do you say say no 
No. Say sorry, no, you can't. Sorry, say you can't, can't do make it. it. I've got to go and see for somebody. You can't make it. You no. got to find a sword, didn't you? Oh, well, I'm going to be there anyway, so if you're there, yeah, I'll get the there. drinks in. All right? Uh, yeah. Right. What'd they say? Toot a row. Yeah, I'm off. Yeah. Right. Okay, he's, he's walked off now, Alan. Yeah. Right, Alan, walk forward until we say stop. So there's no danger. Stop, turn 90 degrees to your right. Yeah, Alan, 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 turn 90 degrees to your right, walk forward quickly. Forward. Keep going. Okay. okay. Okay, Alan, you're see. walking down, down an alleyway. Down the uh, alleyway, yeah. It's, it's a cobbled street. You've got um, buildings either side. Okay, yeah. Alan, stop. You're, you're in a, uh, a room. You're, uh, to your right, there is a stall with two ladies and a Chinaman. Uh, it's clear, you're not going to fall oh, off anything. Hello! Hello, hello! hello. Welcome to a glorious a mobile emporium of humble servant. Ah, uh, walk! Mm. <laughs> Everything uh, we got, you need. Everything uh, you need, we got. You got a name? Yeah, Alan. Oh, hello, Aaron. You call off the jumper, then? I like Aaron. Jumpers are quite nice. Well, I'll tell you what we got today, Aaron. We got a special offer. Every one thing on store, only for one gold bar. It's very good money, that, I think. I see you have one half gold bar. Can you look at the things on the, the table? Oh, you have a little look there. Assassin come for humble seven. Oh, ma, wa, uh, we have to say goodbye you to can dispel it. Tell about the spell. You can dispel it. I know how to dispel it. What? I know how to get rid of it. Well, don't stand there talking. Take a little bit. For God's sake. Dispel. Dispel. I a r u m a s. Oh, that's absolutely amazing. You take your time, but you are a great magician. That's <laughs> incredible. I tell you what, because you've been so helpful to me, oh, I give you a special offer. I will drop the place. Everything on store, and you'll get silver bar if you give me gold bar, and i also give you plus word. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be okay, Alan. Oh, yes. you know, like deal. that deal. Yeah, <laughs> like that. A good deal. That has a the good table. deal. Now then, you take silver, I take gold, but I give you plus one. Plus one is elephant. You got it? Elephant. elephant. Yeah. That's, that's uh, remarkable. Right. Ask him to now, I point you the way you got to go. Elephant. Turn around. Elephant. And off you go. Good luck. Stop. Stop, Alan. OK, you're in a room, you've got, um, in more of a bar, actually. Uh, they're, they're drinking. There's tables to the left and right of you. You're not going to fall off any of their cliff or anything. Don't worry, you're in a room. Yeah. There's hands. Alan, just trying to talk to you. Alan, more beer when you've got a minute. Alan, come over here. Oh, I'll be waiting for you. Sit down there. Oh, you must be tired. Oh, yeah, I'm exhausted just sitting on my cloak. That's it. Right. Oh, now, more beer! Now, listen, I did order you one, I promise. But it was getting cold, so I drank it. And then I, I ordered you a second one, but I, I think I've drunk that too. I think he's but, just drunk, Harry. Yeah. We can hold our beer, can't we? Mm. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I offer you the post of four continents, the supreme entertainment at three royal courts. Ladies and gentlemen, I offer you myself. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> push off, Daddy Long Legs. Me and my heroic chum, Alan, is trying to have a quiet drink together. Ugh. Hey, who do you think you are calling Ridolfo then that way, eh? Alan, do me a favour. Tell him who I is. Go on. Go on, tell him. His hand's the invincible. Hey, no! Tell him my real name. Oh, um, hold on. Kunan the vegetarian. Kunan the vegetarian. Kunan the, the what? The vegetarian. Kunan the vegetarian. Oh, right. So, you this Kunan the vegetarian. I meet this Kunan one time. Yeah. Huh. I remember. He much bigger than you. He for certain a much cleaner. Hey, tell you what. 
If you are the Sakon and the vegetarian, then you not to be scared of this Ooh. sword, eh? Ooh. Eh? I feel eh? I feel so awful. Oh, no! Oh, I'm gonna go. Oh. Hands has run off, Alan. Vegetarian. <laughs> Alan, eh? Yeah. At least you're not pretending to be someone you're not, eh? No. So, Alan, what do you want to know? A song, a rumor? A piece of gossip from the Doja's court in Adenis. Hey. No. Listen, team, if this wandering troubadour is true to his kind, then he's a strolling yeah. fount of information. And of course, information is power. Alan, yeah. see if you can get any information out of him. Uh, like what? Ask him about the gossip. Ask him the about the gossip. The gossip! Well, if you can give me some useful information, I've got something that I might be able to give to you. I might be able to give you some useful information, so, um... What are you going to give me, then? Show him the silver, Alan. No, the parchment. The same, parchment. same we've got a musical scroll here. Yeah, we've got a musical scroll here. Yeah. A musical scroll? A musical scroll. Ah, see, I love the music. The ladies do as well, too. OK, yeah. you give me this scroll and then I help you, OK? Information first, I think. Ah, no, 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 no. It's so a please. speech you scratch, a teeth of a tata. You scratch your mine, and I scratch yours, OK? All right, then. <laughs> ah, wonderful. OK, now, you have to cross a magic causeway. I give you the magic number, OK? It's a eight, a three, a nine, a five, a one. That's a eight, a three, a nine, a five, a one, okay? But you got to be quick or... <laughs> Away to go. I got a people to entertain. Ciao. Ah, Ben, Ben, Ben. He's um, leaving now, Alan. You got that number? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Right. <laughs> onward, team, onward. Alan, stand up. I think there's a stairwell at the back, isn't there? Yeah. Right, Alan, take a step backwards. Turn about 90 degrees to your right. And walk forward. Walk forward. Okay, we're on the ice shield now, and you're walking down a set of stairs. Uh, then. Going down the stairwell. Okay, stop, Alan. You're in a, um, a room uh, which is all stone. There's a pineapple, I think, or something, in, in front of you. A couple of paces in front of you. There's a. Uh, can you see it on the floor? Oh, yeah, I can see it now. Yeah, what is actually is it? It is a pineapple. Yeah, in the attack. Yeah, There's a, a wall. wall come out in front of you. Yeah, it's just appeared in front of you. Um, it's got a face, face in it on now. it. word. Say elephant. Elephant. Okay, it's, it's disappeared. Right, right, walk forward two paces. Right, turn 90 degrees to your left. Right, walk forward. Okay, Alan, stop. Um, you're in a room, yeah, uh, with hexagons laying the path of the floor, so you could fall off the edge to watch where you're treading, right? Mm. There's um, numbers across yeah. them, as we There's thought there might on be. Numbers the, on the hexagons. Yeah. So, we, so uh, we'll have we to follow the code we've we'll given. Take a pace forward. Forward, please. That's it. Right, you turn. Turns like 2 o'clock. You're at 12 at the moment. That's it. Walk forward. And again, stop. Now, um... OK, the path um, behind you has just fallen. Take a half step forward, please. A uh, half step si um, sideways to your left. Yes, yeah, OK. That's it. That's it, OK. Walk no, forward. Walk forward one pace. And another. Very small, though. That's it. That, that was OK uh, originally. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Great. Right, now you can turn 90 degrees, please. From where you are. To the left. That's perfect. That's so great. And nine. forward a step. Walk forward a step. And side take side. a side. half side step to your right. Now walk forward a pace. Whoa, whoa, Alan. Stop, go. Okay. Take a half side step to your right. Right, now take the pace forwards. All right. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Two. Just about. Yeah. <laughs> Take another half side step to your right. Forward. Take a half step. step forward. Turn ninety degrees, please. To your right. To your right. Forward a step. Forward half step. <laughs> now turn a very little bit to your right. That's it. Take a step forward. Take a half side step to your left. 
Yeah, that's okay. And forward a step. Forward step. Forward step. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Now turn 90 degrees to your left. Take a step forward. Okay. Keep walking forward. Walking forward and going out. You're in a, you're in a stop. You're in a, uh, a cabin. There's a, uh, there's a big. Uh, it's all empty. You're not going to fall off anything. So don't worry. You're out of the cave. Uh, there's a big door at the end, but it's like blocked off at the moment. Okay, but it's, it's open and there's a dragon in front. It's Smirkanov team, and that means a trip to level two. Yeah, uh, I'm going to guide you onto the back of the uh, dragon. Um, walk forward till we say stop. Okay. Stop. Stop, Alan. You're on the dragon's back now, OK? Yeah. OK, so don't, like, go to the side. You'll probably fall off him. Oh, no. I'll okay. walk forward. Carry on. Um, stop. stop. Can you see a seat in front of you? Yeah. Um, climb into the Sit seat. Sit on it, please. If you can. Be careful. <sighs> OK, you're sitting on the um, dragon's back. Dragon's turning round to you. Mm, the cheek of it. So like a human. I suppose one should come to expect that sort of thing. Very well. If you have the fare, then hold on tight. If Alan. you haven't, get off now while you can. And do get a move on. That's the dragon speaking to you, Alan. Alan, yeah. quickly offer him the silver. Uh, do you want the silver? Silver, eh? Cheap skit. We'll put it in the pipes provided. OK, you're flying over sea now, Alan. You're rather heavy for a human. Oh, hey, thank you. You seem to be approaching a, a, a castle on the hill now. Yeah, you're going over some land. Now, you'll probably love this place, but I positively loathe it. You're uh, coming into land now, Alan, in a courtyard of a, like a ruined castle. There we are. Off you go, and uh, kindly disembark by the same route you embarked. OK. Stand up and turn round, Alan. <clears throat> Can you follow Sit. down the back of the dragon spines there? Yeah. Well, well done. Alan, you're in the uh, dwarf tunnels again, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Right. There is a skeleton in front of you, so I think we better make haste out of here. Keep walking forward. Can you see anything on the floor in front of oh, you? Oh, hang on a minute. There's some food here. Yeah, pick the food up. Stay. What I want to know, Master. Is if dwarves made these tunnels, why did they make them so big? Ah, well, the answer to that big was they didn't make them for themselves. Right, turn 90 degrees to your left. Straight on. Yeah, straight on. No, stop, Alan. Stop. Mm. Okay, you're, you're in a room, yeah, you ain't gonna fall off anything. Um, there's a lady to your left. Um, there's a chair in front of you also. She's crying, it seems. You can't see me like this. Who are you, anyway? I'm Alan. Oh, Alan. Well, if you're a dungeoneer, you've got the special helmet on, and you can't see me anyway. Which is just as well, because I'm really ugly. I'm so ugly, my cat's run off. That doesn't signify much, because it's a Cheshire cat, and I can't usually see it anyway. Puss, 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 puss. Yeah, puss, 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 puss. Oh! Sorry, Bethsemane. Oh, you were there all the time. Oh, poor, poor puss. Mm -hmm. I'm Sidrus. Hello. Hello. And, and until quite recently, well, I was quite good looking. <laughs> Trouble is, I got to wondering what it would be like to be very good looking. And I thought I'd try just a, a teensy weensy bit of cosmetic magic. I should have known it would have gone wrong. I don't have much luck with magic. Which is a nuisance, because I'm supposed to be a sorceress. <gasps> is my father wants me to be one? <laughs> He's Hordras the Confuser, by the way. Certainly confuses me, I can tell you. 
Oh, call me if you come across anything that will make things bearable. A good face mask would even do. Oh, you do know how to summon people, don't oh, you? Call their name three times. Oh. What's your name, please? Um, Sidrus. Sidrus. Yes. Okay. That'll right. work. Okay. Probably. Puss, puss, puss. No. Oh. Okay, Alan, walk forwards. Now. Okay, we're on the eye shield now, Alan. We're walking through the uh, the room. We're going out another back door. Game on. Hey, stop, Alan. You, you're in. You're outside, yeah. You're not going to fall off anything, but there's a, a ditch towards um, it right in front of you, the way you're facing now. You're, you know, you're outside. There's um, you're, like ruins actually in front of you. Um, to your in front of you now is a, uh, a table. Time to choose and time to use, I suspect. Yeah. Alan, can you walk up to the table, please? Straight on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Straight on. Can you see it? Yeah, I can now. OK, what's on the table? There's some gold, a spyglass, uh, a pear, ugly potion for um, thingy bob, probably, a scroll and a weapon and a gauntlet. Hold the spyglass up, yeah? Yeah, do you yeah. put the food in first? Oh, yeah. Do you yeah. Have the food? Sorry? Take the food, yeah. OK, take the food. OK, look in the spyglass then. Fiddle dee dee, fiddle dee dum. Ain't I the clever tricksy one? Uh, beg your pardon, your fair ship. Uh, Lord, you. What's that you've got there then, eh? Sunny, sunny, sunny. Lovely. Well, whatever it is, Sparkle, it's certainly not lovely. A two pins, I'd show it to you and wipe that silly leer off your face. No, on second thoughts, I'd probably keep it there forever. What I have here, Sparkle, appears to be a Genoese box of delights. But in fact, it contains a Medusa eye. And we know what a Medusa eye does, don't we, Sparkle? Oh, stone me, you fearship. Precisely. Only it's not you we want to stone, Scarkill. It's one of those nasty little adventurers. The thing is, how can I get them to look at it without making them suspicious? Oh, I do love a good trick. Ah, I have it. And I'm not going to tell you, Scarkill, because you'd only blab to everyone. Ah, uh, communications intercept. Alan, drop it, Alan, down. Crying. Quick. What, what else is on the table, Alan? Right, there's a him. sword, a parchment, some gold, an ugly potion and a gauntlet. Can you read the parchment? Can you read the potion? I mean, parchment. Yeah. Parchment. Can I read? What? Yes, I can. It says, give him a great big hand. You got that? Yep, just about. Should we leave that here, then? Yeah, leave that here. Take the gold, yeah? You sure? Yeah, I got... Take what? the gold. Take and the gold. Do you want to call... Call... Sidrus. Sidrus. Alan, do you think we should call Sidrus? If we take the ugly potion? I don't know, because she wants to be made beautiful, does she? Not ugly. Mm. What did the scroll say to you? Give him a big hand. There's a Give gauntlet him a great big hand. There's a shield at the back there as well. Give him. Who's him? Give him a great big hand. Alan, is there a gun on the table? Yeah. Would you imagine take, take the gun? Maybe might. Yeah, take the gun, Alan. You reckon? Yeah, try and put it on. Shall, shall we try calling, um, what's the name first? <gasps> Master! Alan, 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 Alan take the glove, take the gold. Yeah. Take the gold and, um, Which? OK. Get forward. the top, yeah. Side step. Forward. To your left. Right, walk, walk forward, forward, quick. Stop. Stop. Side step to the right. Walk, walk forward. forward. Side step to the right again. Quickly, Alan. Walk forward. OK, you're on the ice shield now. Sorry. OK, you're going up some steps, Alan. You're going actually into the ruins now. OK, stop, Alan. You're in a room, so you're not going to fall off anything. You're, you're safe. Um, there's three exits. The room is bare. So we'll guide you out. Right. Oh, no, Master. It's Pigginty. And she's in a foul mood. Out, boys. Man, okay. Alan, quick, walk forward, quickly. There's a witch yeah, above you. Stop. Stop. Alan, walk forward quick. Go. Go. Again. At the back. At the back. At the back. Doesn't seem to be around. 
Kate, stop, Alan. Kate, you're, um, you're outside. You're not going to fall off anything. There's trees. There's an old man in front of you. You're on a path at the moment. There's an old man coming His towards us. Yeah, it, 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 he's in rags or some sort of... Oh, oh like... pity a poor beggar. Can't a see his poor, face. blind, starving beggar with no food, obviously. Oh, do I sense a presence there? Come closer. Oh, master, it's old Hordris in one of his disguises. Mm, there's no fooling you, is there, Pickle? Come closer to me. Uh, is um, that a presence take a pace I sense forwards. there? Poor Should blind. I touch him? Um, yeah, I think I don't think he'll zap you or anything. Oh. Might be Hordris. It, it's Hordris Beware, in disguise, though. though. Yeah, Please, do you, you have any food, or perhaps the means to buy food, or I shall surely starve? Alan? Yeah? Say yes, but what can, he, what can he do for us? Well, yes, but what can you do for us? Die very quickly if you don't give me some money for <laughs> the food, dear boy. I, I will, of course, be eternally grateful to you. My name is Hord... <clears throat> Harris, the poor starving beggar. And your name is? Alan. Alan, a name with so many kind overtones. <laughs> Alan, I like it, it likes me well. Will you help me, Alan? Do you reckon we ought to? Ask if you'll help us. Will you help us? Mm, well, of course I shall be eternally grateful and may be able to help you out of my poor store of things. I reckon we ought to give it to him. Yep. Okay. Okay, here's some gold. Oh, Alan, 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 you dear boy. Here, Alan. Let no. me take your hand. Yeah, it's a trick, he's got the he's got a chest. Give me your hand, Alan. I have he's got the chest. Alan, don't look this. away. I'm looking look away, I'm looking away. Alan, take the box. Yes. Take the box. Okay, Alan. take the box, but make sure it's closed. Alan. Keep it closed. Don't open it. You are a kind and gentle boy, Alan. And I shall always hold you in my heart. Farewell. Open it later, Alan. Not too much later. Um, he's, he's left, Alan. Turn right, about 90 degrees. OK, we're going to hurry up. Like, no, walk so forwards. Okay, Alan, you're on ah, the ice shield. At last, the rocks of Bruin. Master, what's so special about the rocks of Bruin? Ah, well, it's a place of legend. What legend, Master? Don't ask. You wouldn't like to know. Okay, Al Alan, there's just a door appeared in the middle of um, these rocks where you're exiting it right now. Stop, Alan. Stop. You're in the middle of um, uh, a, a forest or something, rather. Um, you're not going to fall off anything. There's, the floor's solid. Um, there's a Ooh. exit. <laughs> you know, you got past us, did you? He, he dodged us, did you? It's like a witch, fair or a small enough. witch. Yeah. Gotta be fair, haven't we? Rather fair than foul, eh? 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 What were you doing in witch haven then, eh? Looking for magic, was you? There was a witch who was shooting at you before, Alan, so find out. Uh, there was a witch shooting at me before, so I just ran. <laughs> yeah, that's my sister, Peggotty. <laughs> what you got, Peggotty? Well, what have you got for me? <laughs> we got all sorts, witches have. We've got charms and spells and all sorts. But you don't get nothing for nothing. <laughs> well, I'm on a quest at the moment for a sword. Could you give me anything that would help me? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. as I says, I got charms and I got spells. Alan, I'm not doing nothing for yeah. nothing. Alan, we could give her the box, couldn't we? You reckon? Can yeah. you try and find out which one's the box or the glove? I think it's the box, though. So it's a box of jewels, oh, it's it looks like. Box here. Yeah, I want it. Give it to Eggerty. You reckon? Give, yeah, give it to her. Yeah. All right, then. <laughs> okay, she Make sure it. she doesn't open it, though. Not to open. Don't open it. No, it's not all just right. Yet. You've got nothing to it's worry harmful. about. It's harmful. Eh? No, no, not no, open Alan, yet. Open it. Alan. <laughs> Bet you thought I'd just done be turned, didn't you? Eh? Eh? <laughs> eh? Fair enough. Don't work on witches. He's just covering his face. Alan, ask for the spell. I'll, ask ask for the, the spell, please. What sort of spell do you want, eh? eh? One that will help me in my quest. Eh? I don't think I've got one like that. Password? Eh? No. Do you reckon you could help one of my friends then? Named Sidrus? Eh? What's Sidrus up to, eh? 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 
She wants to be beautiful. She wants yeah. to be beautiful. Does she indeed? Eh, well, what you need then is a beauty spell. That's it, eh? Yeah. Use beauty. Eh, I must be off. Beggar is a bit busy today. Tell us what the spell is. Beauty. It's beauty. Beauty. Yeah. Shall I call Sidrus then? All right, Alan. Yeah? Yeah. Call Sidrus, yeah? yeah? Sidrus, Sidrus, Sidrus. It's you again, Alan. I do hope you can help me. And if you can, then do it at once. Oh, I can't stand That's looking stunning. like this any longer. Spell casting. Oh. B E A U T Y. Oh, thank you. Now listen. The password for this level is Scarify. And the guard's pretty scary too. You'll need to take ship if you're to reach level three. Oh, thank you. Now, I must go, and so must you. I'll right. jump sidestep to your right, quick. Quickly, quickly. And again. And again. I walk forward. Sidestep to your left, quickly. And right, again. and again. Walk forward. Stop, Alan. You're not going to fall off anything because you're outside and there's no cliffs. Can you see? I think there's something in front of you. Can you see what it is? Yes, yeah, food. Yeah, pick food. it up and put it in that side then. A bit low. There's a uh, creature up in front of you, almost like a robot. Then stand still. I seek a word. Give me a word or I take a limb. Perhaps an arm, perhaps a leg. Give me the word Alan. now. Say scarify. Scarify. That word is the correct word. Live in fear. You walk forwards. Stop. Turn a little bit to your left. Right, a little bit to your right. Walk forwards. Okay, you're on the eye shield now and we're walking through the rocks again. I think there's stones of brewing. Yeah. Talking. We're, We're coming up to a porthole now. Yeah. Okay, so you're in a you're in a room. Uh, you're not going to fall off anything. There's two exits. One to your uh, at the end of the uh, room. One to the right. One to the left. Uh, there's a hand come down. It's big, huge hand above not you. Not so fast, Alan. No one gets away from me that quickly. Alan? Yeah? Offer him the gauntlet if he lets you through. If I give you this gauntlet, will you let me through? No, Alan, I won't. I'm not susceptible to bribes. <laughs> I want you. <laughs> Alan, sidestep left. And again. No. The hand's falling you no. across. And put the glove on. Okay, walk the gloves. Got his hand. Alan, move to your right. Side step right. And again. Keep going, keep going. Walk forward. Walk forward. Quickly. I said, keep going, Alan. Keep going. I'll get you for this. Alan, you're back in the uh, dwarf tunnel. Uh, can you see anything around? No. Dwarf tunnels, Master? What Alan needs is a way in to level three. Okay, Alan. You're in, it's still in the dwarf tunnel, but to your right is a, uh, a, a it looks like a boat, actually. Yeah, it's uh, rocking up and down. So 90 degrees to your right. That's it. Try and walk forward. OK, okay Alan, Alan, you're on the, on the um, boat, on the ship, you're moving up and down. Lord uh, Sea Master. You can't fall anywhere. Surely only elves cross the great ocean, and when they do, it's never to return. Don't jump to conclusions. This vessel... Unless I'm mistaken, you can cross more than just oceans. Neither is Lord Fear nor his minions allowed to take passage. Although the captain is no friend of the powers that be, extreme caution, indeed. Whoops! Here's an 
ugly one. Gremlins. So ugly, it's got a bag on its head. No, it can't be a bag. It's got horns. It must be a helmet, I suppose. Here, I wonder which is the front and which is the back. Hello, is anybody uh, home? Yeah. Look, it's no good being shy, you know. Just because you've got a face like a goblin's backside doesn't mean you have to keep it hidden all the time. Thank you. Oh, I don't know. Perhaps you ought to. Look, I don't suppose I should be telling you this, but if I were you, I'd get off this ship before it arrives at where it's going. Before the captain discovers you've stowed away. Oh, and if I were you, I'd get a quick wash. If he doesn't see you, he's likely to smell you. Alan, walk forward, please. Mind that great, there's a grate to your left. Yeah, just keep walking forward. Dangerous. No, it's all right. Just keep, keep walking forward. Forwards. Keep going, it's okay. Quick. Keep going. Okay, Alan. Yeah? Stop. You're under the, uh, in the ship itself now. Um, there's a, uh, a chest in front of you. Can you see yeah, what's on it? I can see it. There's You're not going to fall off anything. There's some food you. here. Yeah, you better put that in that sack. food. There's a scroll. Yeah, yeah read, read the scroll. Band and ship, women and children first. Okay. Bring that down. Yeah. And there's a spyglass. Okay, what else is on the thing first before you look at it? There's nothing. It's just that. Can you look through the spyglass, quickly? I will. I'm doing it. I know, I know Scark Hill. In fact, as I know practically everything and you know nothing, it sometimes escapes me why I seem to spend most of my time listening to your prehensile meanderings. Sorry, you fair ship. No ship. <laughs> Just trying to be friendly like. Well, don't. For friendly like, read familiar like. Oh, no, I forgot you can't read, can you? Just shut up and listen. There's a quest on in level three. It's for the sword, which is fortunate, because it happens to be hidden deep in the caverns of gore. Now get moving, get heading in that direction. Take Rock and the big one. Tiny, you know, the one who trod on your leg. And for heaven's sake, take the even path. Otherwise, you'll all come a cropper. <laughs> Lovely. Hmm. Now I've done a ground scan of the whole level. And if the little adventurer isn't on land, then there's only one other place he can. Ah, if it isn't Captain Nimanor, <gasps> greetings, bold mariner. Greetings, Lord Fear. What ill wind blows you across my bows? There's no need to be like that. I merely wish to inquire, as is my right under the treaty, you recall, <clears throat> whether you are carrying any contraband. There are none of your sightless enemies aboard this ship and therefore no excuse to send your minions to board us. Hmm, I wonder. Not even the teeniest possibility of the tiniest little stowaway. I am quite certain, but be assured, if anything has crept aboard, I shall dispatch it myself. Excellent. Just what I was hoping you would say. Ah, you must excuse me. Oh, down. Hey! You still here, are you? Yeah. Well, now you're in deep trouble, aren't you? Could you give us any information, anything that helps, please? I'll say please again. Well, if I do help you, and I'm not saying that I shall, you've got to help me, OK? If I can. I need a firestone for Smirknorf. He's not well and it's the only thing that makes him better. Get the Firestone and call my name three times. Okay. Now, quickly, get through that hatchway. Oh, oh. walk forward. You got the name? Do we know I her name? I forgot. To get the Firestone, you've got to steal it from Ariadne's new lair. Now, hurry up! What's her, Alan, what's what, her name? What's her name? You don't ask, Pong. And what's her name? Pixies, Pixies, isn't okay. it? OK, Alan, turn round. Walk yep. forward. OK, we're on the eye shield now, Alan. You're at the back of the boat. You're going down a, uh, a hatch. Mm. Alan, you're off tunnel again. Um, in front of you, that looks like a key. Is yeah, that right? it's a key. Pick it up. Pick it up, then. 
Should I go onwards? It looks like Ariadne's leg is a spider's web on the wall. Ah. Next to you, so to beware. Yeah. You walk forward to some stuff on the floor. Yes, you're right. Alan does seem to have ported through into a dwarf tunnel. No dwarfs here, Master. They've all gone north for the season. I knew a really clever dwarf. Yes, Pickle, I think we can do without your life history, particularly if Alan's going to have a life future. Be careful, team. As the elf said, the dwarves have left, but others use these passages. Okay. Alan, there's someone in front of you. Al Al where? Just walk slowly. Very careful. Game on. Alan, you're on the, uh, what's it called? The cause, right, the cause way. Okay. Um, but above you is a... Warning, oh, team, when the Fright Alan. Night sword hits the top of the archway, one level of the causeway will fall away. Right. Hey, Alan, that means it's a, a time. So, uh, either, either. Just, Alan, Alan, go on the floor. Just go Alan, go to the right a little bit. No, turn. No, side step. Side step to your left. <laughs> Dead, Alan. Pickle, the star. Oh, right. I, you. I warned you, you've got to be quick in level three. And oh, I shall be quick. Farewell, boys. Ah, parting is such sweet sorrow, particularly when you depart empty handed. <laughs> I'll thank you not to gloat, Lord Fear. True, we may be lacking a few conclusive results. But the opposition hasn't exactly covered itself in glory so far. Anyway, I predict you will shrink before our next challenge.